In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create and view a burn down chart in JIRA. This essential tool helps you visualize your team's progress and work efficiency during a sprint or project cycle. Let's dive right in and explore how you can quickly access this chart in JIRA. Begin by navigating to the specific project you're working on within your JIRA dashboard. This step is important as it helps ensure that the data you see is relevant to your ongoing tasks and objectives. Once you've selected your project, look towards the top navigation menu. Here, you will find an option labelled Reports. Clicking on this will open up a selection of various reporting tools that can help you manage and track your progress. Within the available reports, look for the burn down chart. Selecting this option will present you with the Sprint Burn Down Chart, which is designed to help you monitor your team's progress through the current sprint. If you're focused on a larger scope, such as an entire project or multiple sprints, you might be interested in viewing an epic burn down chart instead. To do this, simply follow the same initial steps. Navigate to your project, click on the reports option from the top menu, and then choose epic burn down from the list. Understanding the data reflected in the burn down chart is crucial. The charts you access are specific to the board you are viewing, which means they include work items that match the board's saved filter settings. The vertical axis of the chart is particularly important as it represents the estimation statistic configured for your board. This might include metrics such as story points, the original time estimate, estimated time remaining, or even the number of issues. Keep in mind that the chart displays data based on your board's column mapping. This means that work items are considered to do when they fall under statuses mapped to the leftmost column and done when they're in the rightmost column. This mapping is crucial in visualizing the flow and progress of tasks within your project. On the chart itself, you'll notice two key lines. The gray line highlights the ideal progress expected in your project timeline, acting as a baseline for your team's target goals. On the other hand, the red line tracks the actual progress of the team, providing a visual comparison with the ideal target. Additionally, you may see gray boxes within this chart. These represent non-working days and can help account for any variances in progress due to holidays or scheduled breaks. With these insights, you are better equipped to use burn down charts in JIRA to enhance your project's transparency and efficiency. These visual tools are invaluable in keeping your team informed and aligned with the sprint goals. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this tutorial helpful in optimizing your project management efforts with JIRA.